I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video how to stop living circumstantially and how to start living vibrationally instead to manifest your reality into existence. Because the problem is that what most people do is they give away their power to the external world, believing that they need to control the external world in order to get what they truly want. They have to control people, they have to control circumstances, they need to do everything in their power to control the outside world in order to manifest what they want into their existence. Now I'm gonna share with you that this is not the most optimal way to manifest what you want without overly extending yourself. And even if you do overly extend yourself, I don't think that this is a optimal way to be a human being, let alone manifest your reality into existence. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to stop living circumstantially and how to start living vibrationally instead to master your inner state of being so that you can bring in what you want without trying so hard. And so if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video. Now, the first thing I want to share with you, which might seem a little bit confusing, it might seem like this first point is pointing to something that is making you focus on the external world, but believe it or not, paradoxically, this first point is predicated upon the fact that I am pointing you in the direction of vibrationally controlling your reality, not focusing on the external world. Now, what I want to share with you is to number one, always focus on what you want. Now, what do I mean when I say this? Because that might seem like I'm saying to focus on what you want conditionally. Now, the important thing to consider before I go into this point is that you're allowed to have preferences, even though I'm teaching you in this video how to live from what some people call unconditional love or vibrationally living versus controlling the circumstances, controlling your inner world versus the outer world. It's still predicated upon the fact that you're allowed to focus on what you prefer to see in your experience as a sovereign creator because what's happening is that every single moment you have a choice to shift your attention to what you prefer to see in this present moment. There's all these things you can focus on, right? You want to focus on the problems that are happening in your life? You can focus on those problems. And if you look for problems, guess what you'll find in your life? You'll find more problems. And so it's interesting that if you look for problems in the external world, you'll find more problems in the external world. Now, if you look for solutions in the external world, then you'll also find solutions in the external world. Now, so what are you shifting there when you're focusing on what you want? When you focus on a solution, rather than a victim-based mindset where you focus on the problem, are you really controlling anything out there? Or are you shifting your attention? Your attention is what's really shifting. When you shift from being a victim to a creator, that difference is a very, it's, 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 a, it's a big difference, but it's an internal shift that may seem small and significant to the, ironically, the outside world, but in your experience, it's a big shift that's happening because you're not dependent on anything outside of you in order to shift into that timeline reality that you want to be experiencing and prefer to be in that moment, regardless of what's happening. And this has nothing to do with really not honoring this present moment. This is not about not honoring what's happening now. This is just about understanding that you have a choice with your attention. Your attention is so powerful, you can shift it to anything you prefer to experience and you'll instantly shift into that reality because what the, the way reality works is that what you're observing already is the case. And what you're observing is what you're actually creating because observation is creation. That's not my opinion, that's quantum physics, okay? So this is real stuff happening and you wanna tap into this to manifest your reality. So the key is to focus on what you want 
but not in the sense that you're controlling people. So what does this mean? This means that you can focus on shifting your attention to this present moment and seeing the abundance that's already here in this present moment, and that in fact everything that you want already exists in the frequency of this current present moment experience. What you want is not good, it's not bad, it's not high up on some pedestal, it just is. Right now you're in a current present moment experience and it just is. If you want to manifest a million dollars, that also just is. Now what you want to do is, if you're trying to focus on a million dollars, you can still take action, you can still do the things that you need to do. I'm not saying that taking action is something that you don't want to be doing. Taking action is something that you can definitely be doing and that's not going to be contradicting not controlling the external world. Because what is action? Action is an emotion. That's all action is. Some people think, oh, taking action on my dreams is really, really hard. That's a subconscious program. To believe that something is hard to do, believe it or not, that's a program stopping you from making your life easy. When I'm recording this video, I try to record my videos in a space of non-resistance as much as possible because that energy of non-resistance is what allows me to perform at my highest. And what I found in my own personal life is that regardless of what the activity is, I can still take action from a space of controlling my inner state of being without controlling the external world. So that still is going to be conducive to focusing on what you want or not conducive. I don't know if that's the right word. It's going to be connected to this first point in the sense that you can still take action, you can still focus on what you want, but you want to be focusing on the internal aspect of that. So what does that mean? That means how do you feel in your body? What is your thought processes? What is your vibrational frequency and emotional state? Are you taking care of your emotions? Rather than focusing on that person and how to manifest that person, why don't you start focusing on your energy, how you feel in your body, your goals, your dreams, the things that you can't con the things that you can control. What about your thought processes? What about your self-image? You can feed energy to certain thoughts that you believe are going to be conducive to you manifesting your reality into existence. You can receive those thoughts from the divine consciousness and give energy to those thoughts because you know that they're going to amplify. Your thoughts are electrical, electrical signals being sent out into the universe and that's something you can control. You can fully control your thoughts. You can fully control your state of being. You can fully control in a way how you feel, but we'll talk about how to do that more later on. But what you want to do is see that well, you can't always control how you feel, but you can choose how you respond to how you feel. See? So what you want to do is let go of this need to control the external world. Start focusing on what you want, but what you want that you're actually able to control. What you want that is within your control. There are some things that you can control, but there's some things that you can. And if you take control of every single thing in your experience that you can control, that is going to be how you shift into that timeline of what you prefer to experience without controlling anybody, anything outside of you. And then you'll start to notice that reality is morphing to your inner state of being versus the other way around. Now, number two is to prioritize your inner state of being. Prioritize this. When I lived my life a couple years ago, which I'm still living my life now, but when the way that I used to live my life a couple years ago is that I would prioritize unconsciously the external world. And eventually I got to the point where I truly saw the dysfunction of living in this way. Because you can prioritize and value the external world, but if you truly saw the dysfunction of this kind of way of living, you would immediately stop. That's my claim that I'm making here in this video. You would immediately stop because I'm inviting you to prioritize your inner state of being. But the problem is that with this kind of an invitation and this kind of a video and this kind of a message, I really can't control you. I really can't force you to prioritize your inner state of being. You have to get to the point in your life where you see that controlling people and controlling things is futile. There's no point. It doesn't help you to get what you want. 
It doesn't help that person get what they want. In fact, it usually makes the person very uncomfortable. If you've ever tried to control a person, it creates an extremely uncomfortable energy, not only for you, but and that person as well. And you rationalize in your mind why you should be continuing on with that control situationally when it's not benefiting both parties pretty obviously, but it doesn't seem obvious because of course there's some program convincing you why it's not so obvious. But what I'm here to tell you and what I invite you to do is to prioritize your inner state of being above all else. Because simply, what else are you gonna do? If you try to control people, you're gonna feel bad and you're gonna get the opposite of what you want. Usually what happens is that people don't want that. I don't want that. If somebody is trying to invade my energy field in a way that I don't feel comfortable and they're projecting a certain kind of energy that I don't feel comfortable with in my body, I don't tolerate that kind of behavior in my life. And that's because I see the consequences of what that does for the self and the other. I can see the consequences of what this does for the planet. This has consequences, okay? It can be scary to prioritize your inner state of being. There can be risks involved with prioritizing your state of being, but there's also risks involved with not doing that. You can also keep controlling the external world, and I'm gonna tell you right now that there's gonna be risks associated with that way of living as well. So either way, you're gonna be living in a risk-based reality, but you may as well do it in a way where you don't have to control people and increase the probability of what you want coming into your life in the most effortless and easeful way possible. I'm not giving you any promises that you're gonna manifest your reality into existence. But one thing I'll tell you though, is that if you prioritize your state of being, you have such a high probability of getting what you want in such a more easeful way in comparison to when you focus on the external world. Because so many people are afraid of not getting what they want and then not taking action on what they want because they're afraid of it not happening, which is a weird ironic thing because they're afraid of not getting it and then they don't take action on it because of that mindset, which doesn't help you to get it either way. But even if you were to take action on it from that state of being, you'll find that you create a lot of resistance and it's just gonna make you get to the point where you quit and then you self-sabotage and you can never stay in that long-term consistency. And I could give you a whole 50 page video, a 50 page uh, lesson and book and even record a five hour video on all the negative consequences of focusing on your external world. But unfortunately, we don't have the time to go into all of that in this video. But one thing I'll tell you right now though, is that I invite you to notice how counterproductive it is to try to control people when you can focus on controlling your own inner state of being. I want you to notice, that's also my invitation to you, is not just to prioritize your state of being because you heard me say it in a video and you know it's gonna help you to get what you want, although you can do that if you want, and I'm not trying to tell you you should do that or shouldn't do that, but I guess in a way I am, because <laughs> I think you should do this. But at the same time though, what I really want you to do as well is to start to notice how, I don't wanna say it in this way, but I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it, how stupid it is to really live in that way. And I'm not saying stupid in the sense that like you wanna judge yourself or, you know, you know, you know, cause what happens is that if you judge yourself, you create more of that and that's also stupid <laughs> in a way. If we're gonna use that word, I don't like that word, but if we're gonna use that word, if you're already being not so smart, resisting that fact that you're not being so smart, is not so smart either. So judging yourself is a problem. Judging yourself or judging yourself is also a serious problem, relatively speaking, of course. But I invite you to notice the dysfunction of living in a way where you feel that you need to control things to get what you want. And then start to do the opposite, just to test it, just test it. You don't have to believe me, just test it and see what happens. Because oftentimes we don't do this because we're afraid of something happening or we're afraid of something not manifesting. But you know what's funny? My experience has been that when I do the opposite of what I'm afraid of, the opposite happens. So when you try to control the circumstances because you're afraid of not getting what you want or you're afraid of something happening, you actually manifest that fear into existence in a much more probable way. And the reason why most do not focus on prioritizing their internal state of being is because they're scared that if they don't control something, that they won't get what they want. Whereas if you let go of trying to control everything and you let go, 
you'll find that actually most of the times the opposite of what you're afraid of happening happens. So I'm afraid of controlling my inner city being because I'm afraid of this thing's going to happen or I'm going to you know, not make the money that I want or I'm going to lose this person. And you have all these fears because you're afraid of not controlling people. That's what it is. You're literally afraid of not controlling the external world. That's what you're afraid of when you don't prioritize your inner city being. But if you let go of that fear, you'll find that it all comes to you in a way that you couldn't have imagined. And that's why I'm recording this video is to highlight the fact that living circumstantially is futile. Resistance is futile. You don't want to be living in resistance. <laughs> you want to be focusing on what you can control. Now, number three is accept your circumstances and focus on your goal from a space of groundedness. This is pretty much how you live vibrationally. This is how you start manifesting your reality into existence without controlling anything. Is you just accept everything as it is. You don't fight anything. You don't resist anything. You do your best to control your inner state of being, how accepting you are of this current present moment experience that you're having. And then from that space of complete non-resistance, you want to be focusing on exactly what your individual preferences, which I want to share with you that you have full permission to focus on your individual preferences. You're allowed to want those things. You're allowed to create what you want. You're allowed to focus on your preferences and you're allowed to do so from a space of unconditionally accepting this present moment. Because again, what happens is that most people, when they're accepting the present moment, I don't know if I shared this at the beginning of the video, when they're, when they're accepting the present moment, another piece of resistance can come up where they don't feel they're allowed to focus on what they want. But that's still, that's still focusing on the circumstances if you don't give yourself permission to focus on what you want. And that might seem a little bit confusing, but to only accept the circumstances and to not focus on what you want because you believe that you have to only accept the circumstances can actually create resistance and ironically take you away from true unconditional love, which is that you're allowed to focus on what you prefer to experience and you're allowed to want that. You're allowed to want what you want. And so it really is simple. Most people, in my opinion, make manifestation in living from unconditional love a very difficult process, but it's really not hard. Accept your circumstances, focus on what you want from that space of groundedness, and of course, cheerlead yourself and support yourself with your thoughts as well. If you want, you're allowed to use your thoughts. <laughs> your thoughts are just tools, but the question is, are you using your thoughts or are your thoughts using you? But anyways, living circumstantially is not going to be conducive to your growth. Living vibrationally is going to be conducive to your growth. And the way that you do it really is by accepting your circumstances and focusing on what you want from that space of groundedness. And that's really the simple answer. But anyways, I don't have much more to share with you in this video. If you apply what I'm sharing with you in this video, I do believe that you're going to have a much better time living vibrationally versus trying to control the circumstances. And this is going to allow your experience of life to happen in a much smoother way, which is going to allow the manifestations that you want to come into your life, of course, as always, in the most effortless and easeful way possible. Now, that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video. Also, if you want to try my free guided meditation that's designed to accelerate your manifestations, to expand your heart chakra, to bring in what you want in the most effortless and easeful way possible, that free guided meditation is also going to be in the description box and in the comments of this video as well. Now, one final thing I want to share with you is if you hit that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated because hitting that like button does help the YouTube channel grow and it does help the algorithm get, push the channel to more people. And I do believe that every single person on this planet does deserve to know that they are the creators of their reality and that they can manifest their reality and do so in the most effortless and easeful way possible. And hitting that like button does help more people get access to this incredibly valuable content, in my opinion. You don't have to, but if you want to, it would be greatly appreciated. Now, as always, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next 